Conservation charities say they've been overwhelmed by the number of stranded seals found along the Cornish coast over the last few weeks. Record numbers of sick and abandoned pups have been discovered after a series of winter storms and high tides. As John Kay reports. On a suburban estate. Okay, shall we get them out? A pop-up seal sanctuary. With the local rescue centres full, these orphaned pups are having to be housed in a garage near St Ives. <coughs> Father and son David and Dan are fully trained and caring for the seals 24-7. <coughs> are you struggling to cope though? We, we are at the point where we really are. Um, I mean, this sort of speaks for itself, really, having all of these guys here. Uh, you know, the rehab centres uh, just don't have the space to handle this many pups in such a short amount of time. Every day, volunteers from the group are racing to the Cornish coast to rescue unprecedented numbers of sick and starving pups, orphaned and injured in the winter storms. There's a the tube in the corner of it somewhere. Providing emergency food is the easy bit. Finding them somewhere to recuperate is much more difficult. They've had nearly 300 call-outs already this winter. I think we've been out 55 times this year so far. What, since the 1st of January? 1st of January this year, we've had 55 calls and we've rescued 25. The situation we find ourselves in is completely shocking beyond belief. So why are things so bad this winter? because we've had a succession of storms over really high tides, flooded all the beaches, washed all those seal pups out without enough food inside them to survive. At Cornwall Seal Sanctuary, there is no room left. Some pups have had to be taken to rescue centres hundreds of miles away. In the hospital wing, this one has an eye infection. He has to be covered while he's treated to stop him biting. Staff don't expect it to get quiet any time soon. We're only just in the middle part of the, the, the pup season at the moment and the pup season doesn't generally finish until about March, April time. So as you can imagine, we're going to have quite a considerable number coming in at that point. It's not just southwest England. Rescue teams all around the UK are reporting record numbers of seals needing help. Once these pups have recovered, they'll be sent back into the sea. But conservationists say if we're going to avoid an accommodation crisis next winter, we need to start planning now. John Kay, BBC News, Cornwall.